the thought of this entire draft is now very intriguing because the paranoia of the NFL is starting to sink in. If you read Peter King's Monday Morning Football Night in America column blog, it, it talked about how some NFL executives are worried about the way the NFL draft is going to be set up. A couple weeks ago, uh, we told you how the draft should be laid out. It is being laid out that way. They're going satellite locations. They'll be checking in with teams while they're making their drafts. And then back to, I would assume, a screen that has Rich Eisen on it. I guess ESPN and NFL Network are coming together to do this. So there'll be a home screen. Then they'll go to a, a place. That place will announce their draft pick. And then you come back via Zoom, I believe, is what they're using now. It came out last week that Zoom is sending everybody's information, all their other app information, all their other stuff, directly to a third party which nobody knows who it is just like most apps are but it came out because zoom kind of took over the world now zoom stock is at an all-time high everybody on earth is using it so obviously when you're at the top of the mountain little pieces of information about your flaws are going to get magnified one of zoom's flaws is that they can potentially be hacked and the information is going everywhere so then that pivots into how one nfl executive has full paranoia that some nfl team teams that are run by billionaires and billions of dollars are on the line and every single little advantage is actually a massive advantage because of the amount of parity in the league some nfl executive told peter king that with the zoom home operations happening on draft night they are worried that an nfl team could pay an incredible hacker to hack into another team's zoom sesh and listen to everything they're doing behind the scenes now that is also uh possible i'd assume that is possible and also awesome that the nfl executive whenever he was told about how we could potentially move forward with the draft in a time where it is needed but we do know that gms and scouts do not want it to move forward in the particular setting that it's in because they haven't had enough time to meet with the players to scout the players to find out what type of human you're getting into your environment and your culture so whenever these nfl owners are talking to their gms and their scouts about one potential problem the gm's like well we can't meet a player because we don't know what type of person is and then another person's like we can't put them uh through an entire personality test to see what type of person we're bringing into our culture and the owner's like ah you'll figure it out and then one person was like they'll hack into our mainframe <laughs> they'll hack into the mainframe they'll be studying everything we're doing and the owners are like i don't even know what that is just move along we're doing this with it all i'll be excited to see how this works if one team has slow internet they are going to get absolutely crushed on the internet and everywhere else this is going to be very intriguing. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I, I obviously, I'm not a big fear monger and things like that. Could they have somebody hack into somebody else's Zoom? I'd assume, I don't know if you can get a guy just to hack into 31 other Zooms though, could you? I mean, is everybody just going to go into Bill Belichick's den over there and just see what the hell he's doing? <laughs> I'm not 100% sure how any of that works, but I like that one executive was trying his absolute best to delay the draft that he had to go to the last case scenario, worst case scenario. He's like, they're going to hack into our microwave and just watch everything we're doing. Yeah. Ah! So sorry to interrupt. If you're a man watching this, you deserve to have long, great and you can do that now with our friends at Roman. Right now, you go to GetRoman.com, you get $10 off and free two-day shipping on Roman Swipes, which are guaranteed to make you have longer, more fulfilling every time you get in the sack. Now, let's get back to the fornicate in action. I could see it like it being like Dan Snyder bring this up, and then Raj is like, Dan, no one's hacking into your draft. Like, <laughs> no one's going to pay attention to you, what you're doing in your draft. Right yeah, now. it'll be funny the... Because they all have some sort of military working for them now at this point. There's some sort of special ops once they retire comes and works for the NFL. Now, the ones that are smart are the ones that brought in the IT nerds from the mm -hmm. special ops to come in. Mm -hmm. And we'll find out if there's any signings here in the next week or so. Jerry, Jerry Jones has just announced that he signed the uh, Navy SEALs of hacking. <laughs> uh, Anonymous is now working for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, just that it's, it's all very interesting to me. And the thought that Joe Burrow could pull an Eli or could pull a John Elway. Since he's not in person, you don't have to see him. He's like breaking up with him through text. That's a lot easier. I, I think we all know it's – now, I'm not saying Joe Burrow's going to do it. Nobody has told us he's going to do it. But that thought is still out there because of how bad of an organization the Bengals have been. It's just not a place that you would want to go to if you've got a dream set up. Or maybe it is for Joe Burrow, who's an Ohio kid. But since you're not in person and you don't see them – Breaking up via Zoom or text is a lot easier than having to do it on stage in front of millions and millions of people.